Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I'm here to bring you a battle between two pre-release decks for Magic the Gathering Kalheim because pre-release was cancelled due to the pandemic. I'm holding my own pre-release a few years late. We have two decks here that were assembled, deck A and deck B. And if you follow the links in the description box, you'll see the pre-release kits being opened and the decks being built there. Both of them are Mardu decks, so I'm going to be referring to them as A and B for the duration of this and we'll be playing the best of three using sideboards with all the rest of the cards that have been opened as the sideboards. We'll go ahead and roll to see who goes first. A rolls a seven, B rolls a two, A will choose to go first. A draws a swamp, a swamp, a grin dragger, swamp, ruin of mortality, seize the spoils, and demon bolt. I can't actually play two of the cards here, but I think that we have enough going on that we can keep this hand. B draws a gold vein pick, Call the Forge Master, Mountain, Infernal Pet, Carter Doom Scourge, Swamp, and Draugr Recruiter. We only have two lands here, but I think the pick makes it possible for us to get away with that. And so hopefully we'll draw more lands and we will keep this hand. A will begin by playing a Swamp and we'll pass the turn. B draws a Breakneck Berserker. We will play a Mountain and then we will pass the turn. A draws, gets a Poison the Cup, we'll play a Swamp, we'll tap two of these, and then we will foretell Poison the Cup, and then A will pass the turn. B draws a Fearless Pup, we will play a Swamp, we'll spend two mana to cast the Gold Vein pick. This is an artifact equipment, equipped creature gets plus one plus one, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, and then B will pass the turn, and taps. Draws, gets a snow-covered mountain, we'll play the snow-covered mountain, we'll tap out, and then we will cast the Grim Draugr. This is a 3-2 snow zombie berserker, and for one and a snow mana, Grim Draugr gets plus one plus zero oh and gains a menace until end of turn, and then we'll pass the turn. B draws a Shimmer Drift Veil, we'll play the Shimmer Drift Veil. It's a land, it enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, choose a color. You can tap it to add one mana of the chosen color. We'll choose white. We forgot to untap, so we'll do that now. And with this mana, we will tap one, and we'll play the Fearless Pup. This is a 1-1 one, one wolf with first strike, and boasts two red. It gets plus two plus O oh until end of turn. We'll tap the Swamp, and we'll equip the Gold Vein pick to it, making it a 2-2 two, two first striker with boast and then B will pass the turn. A taps. draws, gets a squash. A will play the swamp. We don't want to attack through it this way, so I think what we're going to do is spend three mana and cast a demon bolt targeting the fearless pup. This is an instant. It deals four damage to target creature. You can foretell it for red. The fearless pup dies. Then A will attack with the Grim Dragger for three. B takes three and goes to 17. A passes the turn. B untaps. Draws a Feed the Serpent. We'll spend three mana and cast the Breakneck Berserker. This is a 3-2 Dwarf Berserker with haste and then we'll attack for three. A takes three and goes to 17. B passes the turn. A untaps. Draws a Skull Raid. B will spend two mana to foretell the Skull Raid. And then we'll attack with the Grim Dragger for three. B will take three and go to 14. A will pass the turn. B untaps. Draws a Carter's Vicious Return. B will spend two mana to cast Cole the Forge Master. This is a 2-2 Legendary Dwarf Warrior. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Creature tokens you control that are enchanting or equipped to get plus one plus one. That resolves and then we'll spend the swamp to equip the gold vein pick onto the breakneck berserker. In response to the equip, A will tap these two and will cast Poison the Cup. This is an instant that says destroy target creature. If this spell was foretold, scry two will target Cole. Cole dies. A will scry two. We have a Mountain and a Feed the Serpent on top. We will keep Feed the Serpent and we'll put the Mountain on the bottom. B's Equip goes through. The Breakneck Berserker is now a 
3, and will attack with a 4-3 with a gold vein pick. A takes 4 and goes to 13. B gets a treasure token, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Feed the Serpent. A will swing again with the Grim Draugr. B takes 3 and goes to 11. And then A will pass the turn. B untaps, draws a Swamp. B will play the Swamp. B will spend 4 mana and cast Carter Doom Scourge. This is a 4-3 Legendary Demon Berserker. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Then we'll move to combat and swing with the Breakneck Berserker. In response to attackers declared, A will tap out and cast Feed the Serpent. This is an instant that says exile target creature or planeswalker targeting the Breakneck Berserker. The Breakneck Berserker is exiled and B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws Bergoth, Blood Sky Sire. We'll go to combat again and swing with the Grim Draugr. B declines the block, we'll take three and go to eight. A will spend three mana and cast Vergoth, Blood Sky Sire. This is a 2-3 legendary demon rogue with death touch and boast. For one in black, target player searches the library for a card, shuffles their library and puts that card on top of it, and then A will pass the turn. B untaps. Draws a Demon Bolt. We'll spend one mana to equip the Gold Vein pick onto Carter. Then we'll spend four more mana, sacrificing the treasure, to cast Feed the Serpent, targeting the Varagoth. Varagoth is exiled. Then B will attack with Carter. A takes five and goes to eight. B gets a treasure, and B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a mountain, we'll play the mountain. We'll swing with the Grim Draugr again for three. B goes to five, then A will pass the turn. B untaps, draws a swamp, we'll play the swamp. B will move to combat. Before combat, A will tap five and cast Squash. This is an instant. It costs three less to cast if you control a giant and it deals six damage to target creature or planeswalker. We'll target Carter, Carter dies. That will end combat. We'll spend four mana. It casts a Draugr Recruit. It's a 3-3 Zombie Cleric with Boast. 3 and a black return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. And then we'll sack the treasure and tap the mountain to foretell the Demon Bolt. And then B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a mountain. A will spend 2 mana to cast Skull Raid, targeting B. It is a sorcery. Target opponent discards 2 cards. If it's fewer than 2 cards were discarded this way, you draw a card equal to the difference. Foretell one in a black. B discards their two cards. A will then play the mountain. Swing with the Grim Draugr. B takes three and goes to two. Then we'll spend three mana to cast Seize the Spoils. This is the sorcery as an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard a card, draw two cards, and then create a treasure token. We'll discard the mountain. We'll draw two. This is a Draugr Recruiter and a Immersturm Raider. We'll get a treasure. And then a will pass the turn, B untaps, draws a Swamp, we'll spend one to equip the Gold Vein pick, we'll play the Swamp, we'll go to attacks with a Draugr Recruiter, and we'll use the Boast ability to get back, call the Forge Master to our hand, A takes four and goes to four, B passes the turn, A untaps, draws, Gets a Toscari Firewalker. We'll go to combat and swing for the win. In response to attacks declared, B will tap the mountain and cast Demon Bolt from Fortel, targeting the Grim Draugr. The Grim Draugr dies. In the second main, A will tap three mana and cast the Toscari Firewalker. This is a 3-2 human berserker with boast. One, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Then we'll spend another 2 mana to cast an Immersturm Raider. This is a 2-1 Demon Berserker. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do draw a card, we will discard nothing. And then we will pass the turn. B should have a treasure from its attack last turn. We'll untap. Draw a Maskwood Nexus. We'll spend 2 mana and cast Cold the Forge Master. And then we'll swing with Draugr Recruiter again. 
will chump with the Immersion Raider. The Immersion Raider dies. B will tap 4 mana and use the boast ability to get back the Carter Doom Scourge. And B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a swamp. We'll go to combat and swing with the Firewalker, activating the boast ability by tapping a swamp to exile a swamp. B will block with coal and trade. Firewalker dies. We'll play the swamp from exile. We'll spend four mana to play the Draugr Recruiter. And we'll spend two more mana, sacrificing the treasure token to put the Rune of Mortality on the Draugr Recruiter. This is an enchantment or a rune. Enchant permanent, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it has death touch. As long as enchanted permanent is equipment, it has equipped creature has death touch. Then we will draw a mountain, and then A will pass the turn. B untaps, draws, and then we'll go to combat and swing with the recruiter. A will block with their death toucher. We'll use the boast ability now to get back coal. The creatures will trade. Then B will play their swamp. We'll tap three mana, sacrificing the treasure to play Carter Doom Scourge, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a Vengeful Reaper. We'll play the Mountain, and we'll spend four mana to cast the Vengeful Reaper. This is a 2-3 Angel Cleric with Flying, Death Touch, Haste, and Foretell 1 in black. A will swing with the Vengeful Reaper. B takes Lethal and loses Game 1. We'll be right back for sideboarding and or Game 2. We're on to Game 2. Both decks have declined to sideboard. B will choose to go first. Draw a Snow Covered Mountain, Craven Hulk, Swamp, Fearless Liberator, Demon Bolt, Swamp, and Swamp. It's not a great hand, but I think we can keep this one. A draws a Seize the Spoils, Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire, Poison the Cup, Mountain, Demon Bolt, to Scary Firewalker, and Mountain. This is a hand that does a whole lot of nothing unless we draw one more mana. Do we keep it is the question, and I think we can, but I don't like it. With A chose, choosing to have kept their hand, B will begin by playing a Snow-Covered Mountain, and B will pass the turn. A draws a Swamp, we'll play the Swamp, and A will pass the turn. B draws a Seize the Spoils, we'll play the Swamp, we'll tap both, and then we'll cast Fearless Liberator. This is a 2-1 Dwarf Berserker. With both two red, create a 2-1 red Dwarf Berserker creature token, and then B will pass the turn. A draws, gets a squash, we'll play the mountain, and then we'll spend two mana to foretell the demon bolt, and then A will pass the turn. B untaps, draws a skull raid, we'll play a swamp, and then we will swing with the fierce liberator. A takes two and goes to 18. B will activate the boast ability to get the 2 1, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a snow covered mountain. We'll play another mountain, and then we'll spend three mana to cast Varagoth, and we'll pass the turn. B untaps, draws a Dwarven Hammer, we'll play the Swamp. We'll spend three mana to Demon Bolt the Varagoth. Varagoth dies, then we'll swing with the team for four. A takes four and goes to 14. B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Vengeful Reaper. We'll play the Snow Covered Mountain. We'll tap three mana and cast the Tuscary Firewalker, and then we'll pass the turn. B and taps. Draw a mountain, we'll play the mountain, then we'll move to combat. Before combat, A will tap the snow covered mountain and then cast the Demon Bolt, targeting the Fearless Liberator. The Liberator dies. Then we'll spend five mana to cast the Dwarven Hammer. This is an equipment. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay two if you do create a two and Dwarf Berserker creature and then attach Dwarf and Hammer to it. Equip creature gets plus three plus O oh, and has trample. We'll pay the two and we'll get a Dwarf and Berserker to attach it to. And then we will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a swamp. We'll swing with the Tuscary Firewalker and immediately trigger its exile ability. We exile a squash. B will offer a trade with the Dwarf Berserker. Berserker dies. Firewalker dies. A will play the Swamp. We'll pay two mana to foretell Poison the Cup, and then we'll pass. B untaps. 
draws a shimmer drift fail. We'll play the shimmer drift fail, selecting white. We'll go to combat, and we'll swing with the 5 1 dwarf berserker. A will take 5 and go to 9. B will follow up by spending 4 mana, casting a Craven Hulk. This is a 4 4 giant coward, and it can't block alone. Then we'll move to the end step. At the end of the turn, A will tap these two and will cast Poison the Cup, targeting the Craven Hulk. The Craven Hulk dies. A will scry. We have two mountains, a snow covered one and a regular one. We'll put them both on the bottom. B's turn will end and A will untap. A draws a Draugr Recruiter. We'll spend four mana and cast the Draugr Recruiter, and then A will pass the turn. B untaps. Draws an Eradicator Valkyrie. We'll swing with the Dwarf again for five. A will take five and go to four. B spends four mana and casts the Eradicator Valkyrie. This is a 4-3 Angel Berserker with Flying Lifelink Hexproof from Planeswalkers. And as Boast, one in black sacrifice a creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker. And then B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a Skull Raid. We'll spend five mana to cast Squash, targeting the Eradicator Valkyrie. The Eradicator dies. A will pass the turn. B untaps. Draws a Mountain. We can get removal, we can finish off A. So B will spend three mana and cast Seize the Spoils. We'll discard the Mountain. We'll get a treasure and we'll draw a Mountain and a Mountain. We'll play a Mountain and then we'll tap all remaining four lands to cast Skull Raid. A discards the Seize the Spoils and the Skull Raid. B swings with the Dwarf Berserker. A blocks with the Draugr Recruiter. Driver Recruiter will die and will take two to go down to two. B loses their Berserker. B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a Swamp. We'll spend four mana and cast the Vengeful Reaper. And then knowing that they have the three two Haster in their deck, we will just pass the turn. B untaps. Draws a Breakneck Berserker. We'll spend three mana. Cast the Breakneck Berserker and then spend three more mana to equip the Dwarven Hammer to it, making it a 6-2 with Trample, and then we'll swing for Lethal. A box with the Reaper, but we'll still take Lethal and Perish. Then we will be back for game three after going one and one. In sideboarding, A will swap out the Cinderheart Giant for the Smashing Success. Game three, A will choose to go first. A draws a Swamp, a Swamp, a Swamp, a Frenzied Raider, Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire, Provoke the Trolls, and Grim Draugr. It's not an ideal hand, but we can cast two of these, so I think we're still going to keep it. B draws a Grim Draugr, Carter's Vicious Return, Haggy Mob, Swamp, Seize the Spoils, Call the Forge Master, and Fearless Pup. We cannot keep a one lander, so we'll mulligan to six. B draws a Mountain, Haggy Mob, Death Knell, Berserker, Mountain, Haggy Mob, Draugr Recruiter and Swamp. I don't love this, but I think we can keep this one. And we'll put the Haggy Mob on the bottom. A starts with a Swamp, and we'll pass. B draws a Breakneck Berserker, we'll play a Swamp, and we'll pass. A draws a Seize the Spoils, we'll play another Swamp, and we'll pass. B draws an Infernal Pet, we'll play a Mountain, we'll tap both and cast the Death Knell Berserker. This is a 2-2 Elf Berserker. When it dies, if its power was 3 or greater, create a 2-2 Black Zombie Berserker Creature Token. And then B will pass the turn. A draws a Skull Raid, we'll play a Swamp, we'll tap all, and we'll cast the Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, and then we'll pass. B untaps. Draws a Skull Raid, we'll play the Mountain, we will tap 3 mana, and we'll cast the Breakneck Berserker, we'll pass, A untaps, draws a Vengeful Reaper, we really need the red mana, and so we're going to swing with the Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, and activate its boast ability, we'll search for a Mountain, we'll shuffle the deck, and put the Mountain on top of it. B will trade with the Breakneck Berserker. Varagoth dies. Then A will pass the turn. B untaps. Draws a Swamp. We'll play the Swamp. We'll swing with the Death Knell Berserker. A takes 2 and goes to 18. B spends 4 and plays the Draugr Recruiter. And B passes the turn. A untaps. We draw a Mountain. 
We'll play the Mountain. We'll just do this now. We'll spend four mana and cast Provoke the Trolls. It's an instant. It says it deals three damage to any target. If a creature is dealt damage this way, it gets plus five, plus O until end of turn. We'll target the Draugr. Draugr Recruiter dies. A passes the turn. B untaps. We draw a Swamp. We'll play the Swamp. We'll go to combat and swing with the Berserker. A takes two and goes to 16. B will tap out and cast the Haggy Mob. This is a 5-4 Troll Berserker with boast one red. It deals one damage to any target, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Swamp. We'll play the Swamp. We'll spend four mana to cast the Vengeful Reaper, and we'll pass. B untaps, draws Cole, the Forge Master. We'll go to combat and swing with the Haggy Mob. A will offer the trade. Both creatures die. B will follow up by spending 3 mana and casting Infernal Pet. It's a 2-2 imp, and whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Infernal Pet, and it gains flying until end of turn. Then we'll spend 2 more mana to foretell the Skull Raid, and taps. Draws an Immerster Raider. We'll spend 3 mana, cast a Grim Draugr, then another 2 mana to cast an Immersturm Raider. We'll discard the Skull Raid here. We'll draw a Tuscary Firewalker in its place, and then we'll pass the turn. B untaps, draws a Fearless Liberator. We'll spend two mana to cast the Fearless Liberator, and then two more mana to cast the Skull Raid from Exile. A will discard the Seize the Spoils and the Frenzied Raider. This will trigger the Infernal Pet, and it'll get a counter. I don't have that good of attack, so we will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Snow Covered Mountain. We'll spend three mana and cast the Tuscary Firewalker, and then we'll pass the turn. B untaps. Draws an Alpine Meadow. We'll play the Alpine Meadow. It is a Snow Mountain Plains, and you can tap it for red or white, and it enters the battlefield tapped. We'll go to combat and we'll swing with the Fearless Liberator, and then we'll activate the Boast ability immediately. We'll get a Dwarf Berserker. Able trade with the Immersion Raider. The Liberator dies, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Grim Draugr. I think that this is reasonable. We'll swing with the Firewalker, immediately activating the Swamp to exile a Swamp. B trades with the Dwarf Berserker. The Firewalker dies. We'll play the Swamp from exile, and then spend four mana to cast a Draugr Recruiter, and we'll pass. B untaps, draws an Eradicator Valkyrie. We'll spend four mana to cast the Eradicator Valkyrie, and then spend two more mana to cast Cole the Forge Master. That'll put a counter on the Infernal Pet, making it a 4-4, and we will hold from attacking for now. B passes the turn and A untaps. Draws a Bergy God of Storytelling. It seems like here we might need the Horn side. Snow-Covered Mountain, and we'll cast Harnfell Horn of Bounty for five mana. And then we're going to pass B untaps, draws a swamp, go to combat and swing with the Eradicator Valkyrie. A takes 4 and goes to 12, B gains 4 and goes to 24, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a swamp, we will activate the Harnfell's ability to discard the swamp. We'll exile a Squash, and we'll exile a Immersturm Predator. These are both really good cards right now. The Predator is probably good enough to tangle with the Valkyrie, so we will spend four mana and cast the Immersturm Predator. It's a 3-3 Vampire Dragon with flying, and whenever it becomes tapped, exile one target card from a graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on Immersturm Predator. You can sacrifice another creature to give it indestructible until end of turn and tap it. We do not have any giants, so the squash will remain exiled, and we don't have any good attacks, so we will pass the turn. B untaps, we'll draw a Feed the Serpent, that's exactly what we needed. We will spend 4 mana and cast Feed the Serpent, targeting the Immister and Predator. The Predator becomes exiled, then we'll attack with a Valkyrie. A goes to 8, B goes to 28, and then B will pass the turn. A untaps, draws a Swamp. We will use the Harnfell's ability, discarding the Swamp. We'll draw a Poison the Cup and a Mountain. We will spend two to foretell Poison the Cup, and then we'll pass the turn. B untaps, 
draws a snow covered mountain. We'll move to combat. Before combat, we will spend two mana and cast Poison the Cup, targeting the Eradicator Valkyrie. We'll scry two, we'll leave the Demon Bolt on top and move the mountain to the bottom. The Valkyrie dies. B will pass the turn and taps. Draws a Demon Bolt. We'll use the Harnfell's ability, discarding the mountain, and we'll draw a mountain and a Rune of Mortality. All right, looks like things are finally looking up for A. We'll spend two mana to attach the Rune of Mortality to the Grim Draugr. Draw a card. It's a smashing success. We'll spend three mana to Demon Bolt the Infernal Pet. Infernal Pet dies. We'll let the smashing success go to exile and we'll play the mountain. We'll trigger the Grim Draugr's ability to give it menace and four. We'll attack for four. B takes four and goes to 24. A will pass the turn. B draws. Gets a snow covered mountain. We'll play a snow covered mountain and B will pass. A untaps. Draws a mountain. We'll use the Harnfell's ability to discard this and Exile two, we exile Snow Covered Mountain and a Fearless Pup. We'll play the Snow Covered Mountain and we'll tap the Mountain to play the Fearless Pup. We will activate the Draugr's ability and swing again. B will take four and go back to 20. A passes the turn. B draws a Swamp. We'll play a Snow Covered Mountain and B will pass the turn. A untaps. Draws a Mountain. We'll use the Harnfell again. We'll exile a Feed the Serpent and a Car Fell Kennel Master. We'll spend four mana to Feed the Serpent, exiling Coal. Coal goes to exile. And then we'll spend five more mana to cast Car Fell Kennel Master. This is a 4 4 zombie berserker. When it enters the battlefield, up to two target creatures each gain plus one plus O oh, and gain indestructible until end of turn. It doesn't matter who we target, we'll target the pup and the draugr recruiter and we'll swing with everybody. It did matter after all which ones were chosen, but the pup is now at 2-1 indestructible, so we're going to take 9 and go to 11, and then A will pass the turn. B draws a swamp, we'll play a swamp, and B will pass the turn, and taps. Draws a swamp, we'll use the Harnfell ability again. We'll exile a Draugr Necromancer and a Squash. That's kind of what we needed here, so we'll spend five mana. And with the cast the Exiled Squash, targeting the Death Knell Berserker. The Death Knell Berserker dies. And A will swing with the team for lethal. And B, having flooded out, loses the game, taking lethal damage. And that is that. So deck A will win two to one in this particular pre-release or Kalheim. Let me know what you thought about the games in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can hit subscribe. This is Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.